everyone, my name is Abigail Asambaya. I'm one of the conference ambassadors here over the summer. I will be giving you guys a tour of Duncan and its apartments. Um, monitoring our camera, we have Henry. Hey y'all, let me move this around a little bit. My name is Henry, um, I'm working for housing this summer. And um, yeah, I'll be giving, a, I'll be uh, recording this session today. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. Um, and I'll be sure to ask Abby about them. And yeah, also be sure to let us know where you're tuning in from, uh, city and state. But Abby, where are we going to first? Um, we're going to go to the left. We're going to come into the great room of the Duncan Apartments, which is located in Duncan B. Gotcha. So over here we have one of our CREs. Hi. Hi, I'm Jackie. I am CRE for Adohi. However, I did live here um, for a year whenever I was a graduate student here at the University of Arkansas. Um, so I'm pretty familiar with this space. Um, I enjoyed my time living in Duncan so much. Um, it's in such a unique part of campus. Um, and there's just, there's so many great spaces for meeting new people, hanging out with friends, and overall, I, I just love my time in Duncan. Um, so where we're at now is actually uh, the community building. It is the building of Duncan. Um, so this is typically where some of our programs happen. Um, and what a program is, is basically an event that is planned by the staff that work here. Um, there's probably going to be food, music, all kinds of fun things, games. Um, so a lot of a lot of events happen in here. Um, I know in the winter we love to do like a hot chocolate sort of event in here, um, which is really nice. But we also really like to utilize the outdoor space here. Um, it is such a unique area of campus to be able to experience just the outdoors um, in a really nice setting. Awesome, cool. Well, y'all be sure to let us know what questions you have uh, in the chat about Duncan. We're going to move on now. Abby, where are we heading to next? We're going to go upstairs to look at the beach area. Cool. Abby, what's your major? And everyone in the chat, let us know what your major is as well. Um, so I'm an international and global studies major. Um, I just changed my major, so I will be taking all the <clears throat> classes in the fall. Um, I also have a manner in a manner, a minor <laughs> in Spanish as well. Oh, super cool. Are you excited for your classes or not really? Um, yeah, I'm actually enrolled in a lot of classes that I'm really looking forward to. Mm -hmm. So while many people dread starting the fall, I personally ex I'm really excited to get started mm -hmm. in the fall. It's always nice to be excited about your classes and not yes. dreading them. Yes, I think it's the first time since I started in the, mm -hmm. the University of Arkansas, but I think it's because I'm finally following a career that I'm excited for, so mm -hmm. that's definitely another important thing is you'll enjoy and y'all, we may have lost connection a little bit. And again, we just regained connection after being in the elevator. So, uh, where are we at now, Abby? So, this is the gym area. This is located on the second floor of Duncan B, which is right above the desk area. So, um, once you enter the front desk, if you go to the elevator, it'll take you up to the second floor. Um, all the gym equipment here is free. It is included in your tuition of your dorm. So, when you pay for your housing, you're paying for this gym as well. As you can tell, there are a lot of equipment. Um, anything here that is, anything that is here can be used. We ask that you please just don't take it out of the room. Um, yeah, that about sums up the gym. Gotcha. If anyone has any questions, please put them in the yeah. chat. All right. So, how many buildings is Duncan composed of? Duncan is composed of five buildings. Mm -hmm. We have Duncan A, which is apartments, Duncan B, we have Duncan B, which is down here, and then we have Duncan E, which has a, which is at the very end of the street. Gotcha. So this, this right here is a parking room, and then that building over there is Champions Hall, mm -hmm. um, one of our academic buildings for the university. Gotcha, and we lost a little bit of connection there. Could you explain what this, uh, what this garage is for? Yeah, so this is a parking garage. It's called Harmon Garage. It's available to the residents. Um, you can buy a parking pass for this garage. Um, there are certain floors dedicated to residential parking. So when you get your parking pass, just keep an eye out for which floors you can park in. Um, and then you can park there, cross the street, and then come to your apartment. Awesome. Good deal. Yeah. So where are we headed to next? Um, so right now we're going to come to um, the mailbox section. And our CRE Jackie will give you guys a more in-depth explanation of that. 
Yeah, so typically what happens, um, most residence halls, your mail comes to a central desk in the building, um, and then you will receive your mail that way. Here it's a little bit unique um, because USPS, Amazon, all of those places have access to this area. So if your package and your paper mail will fit in these mailboxes, it will go here. Um, but if it is something that is too large to fit in these boxes, it'll get delivered to the front desk uh, during business hours. Um, and then you will receive an email from uh, University Housing that you have a package, which is really exciting. We love packages. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's kind of how mail works here. Awesome. Good deal. All right. Alrighty, so now we're going to go on the Greenway, and we're going to go down to one of the little, um, it's like a little outdoor patio that is available in the Duncan Apartments. Um, there is a room, there's a fire pit, which you all will see in a second once we get there. So what uh what year are you, Abby? So I am currently a sophomore. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a little bit ahead, so I'm about a semester ahead of what a uh, normal sophomore mm -hmm. had. So um, I came in with a lot of credits, so it's a little gotcha. interesting to see how uh -huh. your credits accumulate in your yeah. years. A lot of AP classes. Yeah, I, uh -huh. did a, I did some concurrent classes in high school, which if you did that, you're going to be very very um thankful you did that because it takes you out of all those basic courses which sometimes can just be a pain mm -hmm. um if you didn't that's totally fine too um it's just it's a it's a good um what's it called it it's a good jump start coming yeah. out of high school into college it's a good way to just get back into that gear of yeah um, for sure starting to learn education again gotcha so this is the Duncan apartment patio. We have a grill, um, a little patio, um, what's it called, a canopy, where we have um, a picnic table. You're more than welcome to bring your own chairs out here and sit down, and then we have our fire place, fire pit right here, which is a good place to hang out, roast some s'mores, um, come read a book at night once it gets a little bit colder. It's a little hot right now. Mm -hmm. But if the hot's your thing, you're more than welcome to come out here. Um, I'm more of a winter person, so I would be out here in the winter reading my book. Or Definitely. Some All right. Yeah. Well, y'all, let us know if you have any questions about this outdoor space um, or about Duncan in general. And uh, I believe we're going to go see a room next. Yes. So you said you're a sophomore. What was your favorite thing your freshman year? Favorite um, thing about freshman year? That's a really tricky one. Mm -hmm. um, I really enjoyed my first few weeks as a freshman. Mm -hmm. um, I was super involved in A Week, which we'll go over a little bit more later. Um, as well as I was involved in Lee Hog, which is a freshman program some of you may be enrolled in. Um, those were two were my favorite parts. Lee Hogs lasted throughout the whole year. So I was able hmm. to. Oh, there's uh, one space. Sorry, we're going to look at one space really quick. Um, it's uh, some outdoor storage that Abby will show us. <laughs> Let them know they have it. Uh -huh. It's a hard pull. You got it? There we go. So, I would recommend putting anything that is durable outside. Um, mm -hmm. Bicycles, a lot of times. With Bicycles, there. if you play sports, you can put your um, soccer balls out here if you like to go um, swimming, like deep diving, you could put anything out here. Mm -hmm. um, I believe you need your own lock, right? Yes, you will need your own lock. Gotcha. Lock the door and keep it safe. Gotcha. Alright. Alrighty, so we're going to go upstairs and head mm -hmm. to look at the apartment. And you were talking about uh, A Week and Lead Hogs? Yeah, so yeah. Lead Hogs is um, a program available to freshmen. Um, mm -hmm. I will be one of the representatives of Lead More, so I might see a few of you if you're enrolled in Lead Hogs, but it was mm -hmm. super fun getting to work with um, residents that lived in my dorm, mm -hmm. but as well as the staff, because the RA staff of the dorm will be super involved. Gotcha. Um, I would definitely keep a lookout for any programs that they host, because it is really, really fun to be in. Um, but we have reached 205. Mm -hmm. our um, room, so we'll go ahead and step inside. Awesome. What was your room number? I think it was 205, but in... Oh, wow. Line. What a oh, okay. coincidence. 205 in another building. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so talk us through what's going on in here. So this is, um, I guess, a typical 
living, living room, room slash hangout area. So you have your living room. You can put up a TV, um, you have your chairs, and then over here we have a kitchen. There is a microwave, a stove, an oven, a dishwasher, and a fridge, all which work and come included in every single apartment mm -hmm. um, that is in this um, complex. Um, you have a lot of storage area so you can cook. Yeah. Um, yeah um, what is like the it. main distinction between the two types of rooms in Duncan? Do you know? Um, so, what I have come to understand, the main difference between um, the Duncan rooms is um, the living rooms of the bedrooms of stairs. Only two of them have a balcony, and one will not. Um, but all Duncan apartments have this similar layout of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I think the only major difference would be um, that, as well as the style of the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And we just got a question um, from Haley Sullivan is, can we look in the fridge? Yeah. We didn't look at it beforehand. Yeah. Let's look uh, let, in there. Yeah, look, let, let's make sure. Oh, is it? Okay. All right. That was clean. I didn't open this one though. Okay. So. Yeah. So this is the fridge. Got some plenty of space there. Everything's clean. And this yeah. is the freezer. So this is, uh, this is how much space y'all have for food. But, all right. Thank you. Good and, question. Yeah. And let us know um, any, other, uh, any other questions you have. Jackie, do you have anything you want to add? Um, just to clarify a little bit about uh, the differences between the apartments, um, just a little bit more. You can see the, the diagram of like the layout of the apartment on housing.uark.eu if you go to Duncan Apartments. Um, but the main thing is that there are two bathrooms in the lower story Duncan Apartments. Um, there'll be one on the first floor and one on the second floor. Um, two bedrooms will be downstairs and two bedrooms will be upstairs. Um, and I want to say that the laundry room is also upstairs in those first level apartments. Um, and then we have second level apartments. All four bedrooms will be upstairs. Two of those will have a balcony. That'll be your A and B room. Um, C and D room do not have a balcony. Um, and then the other big difference is that the second story apartment only has one bathroom that is shared between the four uh, students living in that space. Gotcha. Yeah, that's Duncan. Awesome, thank you. And we just got another question uh, about measurements of the living room area. So do we have uh, that measure uh, over here? So uh, they weren't, uh, let's, I would say probably, because where you think we start, uh, like from this countertop over there. What are we measuring exactly? Uh, they didn't specify, so let us know uh, what Let's specifically you want us to measure, um, and, and we'll get that. We'll get that. Uh, get that down. And they're also on our on our website, but we're in the process of updating the uh, the measurements on our website at housing.uark.edu. So it may not uh, be one hundred percent exactly accurate, but it'll give you a, a rough idea. Mm -hmm. Shall we check out the bedroom and the bathroom? Yeah. yeah. Our way. So of these doors is a toilet area there are two sinks that are available and then um, a toilet area. gotcha and then this is the shower area we don't have showers and uh, we just did, uh, we got two questions from uh, relevant to the living room. Jackie, could you explain what's behind the white door downstairs, that locked one? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so those are locked in every single apartment. Um, that is maintenance space. It is not accessible to you living in Duncan. Um, but about once a month, uh, facilities, our university housing facilities will come in and replace the air filter. Um, so we have nice, clean, fresh air. Um, so that is what that space is. It should always remain locked and you will not have access to it. Gotcha. And uh, we did get our measurements for the living room. They were asking about the couch area, please, for a rug. Okay. So do we want to go down there, downstairs? Yeah, let's go ahead and knock it out yeah. now because then we won't, we'll be right. able to finish the After you bedrooms. Oh. Gotcha. Great question. Thank you. Was 
question about the couch specifically. Was that right? Uh, the, yes, let me see. Couch area, please, for rug. Couch area. Um, so we can measure the, yeah. the, the couches from, and the chairs. Yeah. yeah, give them from here to here. And mm -hmm. just kind of give them the general. So from the stairwell to the wall, that is 11 feet and 5 inches. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, and then the width, maybe the width is uh, well, so like going from okay. this stairwell over, it's over to there as well. That is six feet and nine inches. So um, 11, uh, 11 feet by six feet and nine inches, you said, mm -hmm. for this little couch area? Okay. okay. And then should we measure the couch as well? We can. We, or have, those, we have those measurements on the website, and okay. it will be correct very soon. So. Gotcha. Um, but let's go ahead. We'll do the couch real quick. Yeah. And then if you want an additional one, let us know. Mm-hmm. Can you give me that? Put my hand out there. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I we'll probably want to get it from the edge there. So it is four feet and eight inches. Gotcha. And you can probably go from the edge right there down. Mm-hmm. And then it is two feet and nine inches tall. Gotcha. And we can probably get one more. And I think uh, the person who asked the question, I think they said a. Uh, All right, go ahead. Yeah. Two foot and that edge will say three feet. Gotcha. And it looks like we answered that question. All right, so now let's go back upstairs for a uh, bedroom, and then we have a question for Jackie about the walls. Okay. Hey, Jackie, are you in here? Yes. Uh, we have a question about the walls. Are the walls in the bedroom uh, drywall or concrete? Would you happen to know? Drywall. This is drywall. Drywall? Okay. Gotcha. Good. All right, then let's see a room. And a balcony, too. Yeah. So this is the typical layout of a room. You have a chest, a tall dresser, a desk, a bed, and a little nightstand. The mm. beds are twin XL. Um, so any twin XL sheet, um, a twin XL mattress topper, which I highly recommend you have one. Um, those will all fit on this bed as well. This mm -hmm. is a typical taller mattress, so um, a twin might even work better if you would like to have the corners of the sheets fully tucked under the bed um, with a twin XL. It might tend to come off a little bit, so if you don't mind simply tucking, pulling the fitted sheet back over the ends, you should be fine. But if that will be a hassle to you, um, a twin XL should fit on the bed just fine. Gotcha. Um, this door in this room leads to the balcony. <clears throat> to the good little overview view into the forest. Um, you can bring chairs out here. You can have a patio, um, a small patio table or something out here, a rug, mm -hmm. um, anything to hang out with. And then this door will lead to the bedroom next door. And so these are the two rooms that will have the balcony. The other two rooms will not. Okay. Surprise. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's how you actually showed up just in time because we had questions for you. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, so can we use nails on the walls or command strips only to hang things? Uh, command strips only. Um, and be really cautious. Don't get any off-brand uh, versions of that. I would stick with the 3M command strips. Um, those do the best uh, whenever you go to pull them off. Pull very slowly. Um, otherwise, you will leave a big chunk of paint missing from the wall mm -hmm. um, and we do charge $41 per paint chunk and that can add up kind of quickly um, and that'll be the same for any holes in the wall we'll leave that $41 um, per damage so mm. keep an eye on that gotcha and are all the beds twin XL to my knowledge yes Mm -hmm. Does our fact sheet say anything different? Mm -hmm. no. On movement.ur.edu, um, they can find all of the mattress sizes mm -hmm. and the lofting ability of each of the beds. Okay. And I know um, you're also able to put in a fix-it request if you happen to have a shorter mattress in your room you're wanting the twin XL or vice versa. Um, you can put in a fix-it request and we mm -hmm. usually try to accommodate that. Okay, gotcha. Well, let's go back into this room and we'll give another another look. And be sure y'all to ask us any questions. Um, 
about uh, anything you have about the room or about Duncan in general? Abby, do you have any advice for the freshmen coming in? Um, any words of wisdom? Um, I guess my big one would be make sure you pack enough. Um, my first mistake was I did not pack enough because I figured I would overpack, but I ended up underpacking. Um, so try and find a good medium. As you can see, we'll go ahead and open these up because this would have been nice to see. One of these. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, you can see how much space you have. You also have these chest drawers. So especially for our ladies out there, I know we like to bring a lot, a lot of clothes. Um, so just keep an eye out for how much clothes you bring. This is how, about how much space you have. Um, you can always buy standalone closets as well if you really like to have a lot of clothes. I have had some friends that make that work. Um, again, you mm -hmm. try and see how much clothes you can bring. Um, but I think that would be my major, um, my major advice. Don't be afraid to decorate your room. I know a lot of people um, prefer not to just because it's a hassle. But me personally, I like my room to be homey, so I will always decorate my room um, to mm -hmm. where I feel comfortable being in it. Gotcha. And Jackie and Christopher, we had a question. Uh, can we go into all the rooms, or should we just stay in this one? I know they'll be all the same layout. Um, we can go into the other two rooms in this, in this yeah. apartment. We don't push around the, the, uh, we have people staying here, so we uh -huh. can't look at every apartment. But we yeah. can certainly go visit the other, these other rooms, because they should all be a similar... Similarly, oh, also, we didn't show off, I don't know if we showed uh, laundry? Uh, the, the laundry. There is a washer and dryer in every apartment. Don't forget to check your lunch route. Yeah. <laughs> but these are what the other rooms uh, look like. Like, a, like we said, very similar uh, layout. And then, one second, I need to adjust my camera. Uh, we had a question. Are the doors magnetic to hang things onto? Mm -hmm. It's just wood. Mm -hmm. These might be mm -hmm. actually. They kind of look like metal. Yeah. All right. I don't think they're not magnetized. They might be metal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And someone asked, are there ceiling fans? Uh, yes. In every room, I believe so. Yep. And then, um, Abby, could you come back into this room and measure the ceiling? Yeah. Yeah, so you just, uh, or the ceiling, so you can just, uh, like, put it down there. What? Is it registering? So eight feet and five inches. Eight feet and five inches. About nine feet with five, um, seven extra inches to spare. Gotcha. Um, All right. We had another question. Um, is there Wi-Fi? Yes. So um, when you get here, you will for, you will connect to the UARC Wi-Fi. Um, you will. Um, a lot of you should already have your email address. You will just sign in with your email address, and it will automatically connect with wherever you are on campus. Gotcha. And then someone just asked measurements for under the bed. Okay. So using from one in the bed frame to the other. Are not optimal. Yeah, okay. I was about to say these don't look like they so three feet and three inches. Okay. And then six feet and nine inches. This one, so seven feet. Gotcha. And then could you also measure how tall? Um, since these uh, these aren't loftable. One foot and seven inches. Gotcha. All right, and I'm going to check through all the questions again, make sure we answered them. What is in, what is the inside of the smaller window in the other bedroom? The smaller window in the other bedroom. Um, so this smaller window that is present here, you are not going to have that in every single apartment. Um, but what you will have are these two windows and the C room. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the standard right there? 
This, yeah, this is pretty standard. Uh, only the uh, or end units have an additional window like this. Gotcha. All right. Here in the yeah. unit, there does, there does seem like one small window right there. That's typical mm -hmm. also. Yeah, and it's always, uh, the C room is the one that has like the really elevated ceiling like this. Mm -hmm. okay. And it'll say on top here, the letter yes. of the room you're assigned to. Okay. We have another question. Um, are any of the Duncan beds loftable? Um, no, they are not loftable. Um, I, I'm trying to rack my brain and remember if that is something that you can request. At this time, I don't think it is. Um, but definitely uh, check on the housing website. That would be where you're going to get the most accurate information. Yeah, I would say that if you're wanting a uh, loftable bed in here, you can always turn in a uh, what's called a fix-it request. Mm -hmm. And so that, do you know how to get to fix it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's say uark.fixit.net housing housing yeah. dot, okay well, I, I don't know <laughs> housing.uark.edu forward slash fix it f-i-x-i-t okay and that'll lead you to a, a maintenance request form that you can request anything you can tell us um you know that your your water's not working at the moment which mm -hmm. hopefully will never happen to you but uh, that's something. So we're we're there to fix that anytime. Gotcha. And, um, one other thing to note with this being one of the only spaces where an apartment has its own kind of outdoor space on the balcony, um, sometimes you do get wasps um, or dirt daubers. So if you ever experience that, you can also put in a fix it request for that. That's pretty common in Duncan. Gotcha. All right, y'all. Um, be sure to let us know any question, any more questions you might have. But uh, Kay or I'm sorry, I'll say Kaylee and Jackie. Could you uh, say uh, more about like what a CRE is and what it stands for? Oh my goodness, yes, I didn't explain that earlier. Um, so my role is coordinator for residence education, um, and essentially what that means is I'm here to support um, to support your growth, to help you get connected to resources on campus. Um, and I also supervise um, resident assistants. So there are resident assistants in every residence hall across campus, including Duncan. Um, and a resident assistant is someone that you can go to almost like a big brother or big sister in a way, um, for if you are struggling to get connected on campus or you may be dealing with roommate issues, which are really common. Um, and that's just another person that's closer to your age, um, most likely uh, closer to your age, that will be able to help you navigate some of those issues, um, especially if that's not something you've dealt with before. Um, so I supervise those staff members and um, help guide them and mm -hmm. guiding you, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, but then I also oversee a lot of the uh, facilities of the building, making sure that everything stays safe, um, creating events, planning, uh, social media posts, all kinds of things. I wear lots of hats. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Well, y'all, this is the last last call for questions. Looks, looks like we're not getting um, getting any yet. But uh, Jackie, could you give any, any words of wisdom for our freshmen coming in? Yes. Um, the, the two pieces of advice that I always give you is have a way to manage your time and manage all of your uh, obligations. So... Um, one place to uh, record, like, this is where I need to be at this time, like, have your entire class schedule in your calendar um, mm -hmm. so you don't have to rely on your memory all the time. Um, also, writing down in a planner or something of that nature, any uh, assignments or projects you have, um, whenever your registered student organizations are meeting, um, or RSOs as we call them on campus. Um, just recording all of your obligations, whether that's time obligations or um, projects that you need to complete. Mm -hmm. um, I would also say check your email every day, at least twice a day, um, because you know if a class gets canceled at 8 a.m. and you forgot to check your email, then you walked all the way to class, and now you have to walk all the way back and be really sad about it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, check your email. And then the third thing that I would say um, in Duncan, because you are in your own room, it, that is super nice, but it can be a little isolating sometimes. Um, but it can also kind of be a comfort zone for you. So it's really easy to spend a ton of time in your room and not really get out and not engage with others on campus. Um, and that's, that's the best way that you're going to grow is by getting out, meeting new people, uh, challenging yourself, going to new events, learning all kinds of new things that... Um, maybe you've never been exposed to before, um, but that's how we grow. Change mm -hmm. is good. Gotcha. And this is, uh, we do have one last question before Abby signs us off, and this could be either for you, Abby, or you, Jackie. Uh, do you have any move-in day tips? Hmm. 
drink water. Some drink. Yes. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> it's gonna be very hot. <laughs> yeah. Drink water. Um, I would say also uh, any issue. Oh, here's a good one actually. When you move in, you are going to hear about a room condition report. Um, this is essentially what you are going to use to document any damage that is already in the room when you move in. Mm -hmm. um, when you move out at the end of the year, we go through all of these rooms and any damage that hasn't been logged, it becomes your responsibility unless you have proof that it was present before you moved in, um, unless you have proof that you didn't do it. Um, so go through with a fine tooth comb, write down everything. Um, and you'll be able to do that yourself and take pictures um, and document all of that. Um, but I think that's something that's really good practice for you in the future. Um, perhaps, you know, next year you might have a lease off campus. Um, and not everyone can be as flexible as we are sometimes with some of, some of our uh, damage billing. Um, but d definitely uh, work on noting all the damages that might be in your room. Hopefully there's like none. Um, mm -hmm. That would be awesome. But obviously sometimes we miss things. So that gotcha. is my biggest advice to save money in the long run. Gotcha. And I know I said that was the last question, but we had one more. Since the beds are not loftable, can bed risers be used? Uh, I would say as long as it's not damaging uh, the flooring. I know you can get those like plastic ones that are kind of like little four little platforms that you can put underneath the bed. As long as it's not scratching the flooring, um, as long as you're mindful of walls and everything, I don't see that being an issue. Um, but if you have something specific that you're wanting to use, you can always run that by your RA once you get here um, or your CRE, and that way you don't get fined for anything that could potentially not be allowed. Um, but I don't see that being an issue. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. All right, Abby, sign us off. Yeah, well, real quick before we do that, um, I was wanting to go over a few events that we have coming up when you move in. So mm -hmm. I will go over pick one, and Henry will go over something we have called A Week. Yeah. Um, so pretty soon, if you haven't already, you should receive an email about something called Pick One. Um, it is an opportunity to sign up to be involved on campus. There are multiple things that you can register for. I personally, when I was a freshman, did the UREC one. So um, we did a tour of the Hyper, which is where a lot of those activities will take place. Um, we were able to do the Hyper. We saw um, the gyms, the racquetball courts. We saw everything that goes on. So that is one of the pick ones that you can do. There are also, um, if you are in Greek life, there is a Greek life one. Um, if you are into any outdoor activities, that will fall under UREC. Um, if you like painting, there is a painting. There are so many that are available, so you can pick your top three. Um, and then, if the if your top one is still available, you will register. You will be enrolled in that one. If not, um, you will drop down to your second or third one. Um, I would definitely look into that. That was really really fun to be in. Um, I had a, I made some of my friends that I currently have now were in the UREC that I met there. And we would go down to the hyper, we would go swimming. Um, one of my friends and I actually enrolled in one of the cycling classes, which was really fun. Um, so if you are outdoors, um, <clears throat> the UREC also has any mountain biking stuff that you like to do. I personally like biking, so that was something that I was interested in as well. So anything activity-wise can be look and will fall under that one. So that is definitely something to look into if you haven't already received the email. Um, and then Henry, do you want to explain to us what they mean? Yeah, for sure. And I'm going to try and give this to you. Yeah, uh, yeah there we go. So A Week, oh, you got it? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so A Week is a, kind of a series of programs that we put on a week before classes start. So it'll be uh, right after you move in. Um, and there's just so many different programs and events for everyone on campus to uh, get together and have fun. Some of them are educational, some of them are as simple as like a bingo night. Um, but uh, some of our big ones, Chocolate Wasted is one of our big ones, which is uh, learning about uh, learning about alcohol while also getting chocolate. That's okay, I got it. <laughs> Actually, let me go ahead and hold it. One second, y'all. <laughs> it's all good. All right, I think this works. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, I think y'all can see me. But, um... So Chocolate Waste is a big one. Uh, we may also be doing Taste of Fayetteville um, this, this year where uh, all the, uh, a lot of restaurants, food trucks, et cetera, around Fayetteville come to the Greek theater. Um, 
and uh, they just give out free samples and all that. And there's just there's just so many different events, and I would highly recommend going to them, especially if you're a freshman, because that's a great way to um, to meet new friends and kind of you know start building those memories with your friends. And can't recommend it enough. And what's the website? Uh, is it aweek.uart.edu? Yeah, so aweek.uart.edu. Um, so go uh, go there, and there should be a schedule. And also, I believe um, when you move in, we'll put uh, calendars. Uh, Onto your uh, onto your doors, and it'll give you a, like a schedule of the events. But all right. So, so that go ahead, that concludes our apartment uh, Dungeon apartment tour. If you have any questions, you can go to housing.ur.edu, and you can find any information on there. You are also more than welcome to call. You can find the phone number on there. Um, thank you all so much for tuning in. Can't wait to see you guys on campus. Awesome.